or whether it was Michigan State or Purdue, Indiana, everybody's had that similar type of game. They've got tremendous quickness on the outside, and it's just really difficult to stay in front of them. I don't care who you are, and we're not particularly great at that. So uh, they got to the rim, they got to the rim, they made shots, and then we just went dry for a little bit. Uh, our first half, we, we, we made some big, great shooting from the outside. We executed and made some big shots. Second, second half, we got similar shots, we just didn't knock them down. So there aren't many games where you shoot 54 percent, you shoot 56 from three, and, and you guys are still in a tight one at the end. What, what yeah, I think you know those turnovers down the stretch were really huge. We were trying to run a, a break out of the time, out of the foul shot, and we just threw it right. They were waiting on it. We had that turnover. The five second call was a bad turnover. You know those two things I think resulted in you know that 19 leads not is not going to stay here. They're not going to quit. They're too quick and they can score points. But all of a sudden, that went from 10 or 12 to 4 or 2, like, like this. We had a couple of really good looks. Duncan had one, and, and Derek had one. It didn't go in, and they converted. So all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. Some of those late mental lapses, or whatever you want to call them, is some of that attributed to not being in a game like this in a little bit? It's been a while since it's kind of been you know, a helter-skelter last couple minutes. Yeah, I mean, Nebraska is very similar to like the Nebraska game. I mean, that's the way this league's going to be, and people are not going to stop, and they're on a road to get a road win. So, um, no, I, yeah, I can't tell you why Zach didn't call timeout when he couldn't get it in or that we didn't uh, execute that play. I can't tell you why we threw it away there. But those are, those are things that we got to learn from, and he felt bad about it. We were good enough to make the right plays at the end. Muhammad obviously had the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was the call there, and what did he yeah. do? Well, we, we were adding up running some action to get, we, we, just to get downhill, just to get downhill so that we could draw people. And Zach got in there, got him into a closeout, and he drove. And that, that walled layup we worked on here today of just getting your body into somebody and finishing because of the length that they had. So uh, that was a big play for him because he's learning every day. And, of course, he and Duncan both got off the snide of making outside shots, which they had not been uh, very good at uh, lately. What did Derek show you in responding to some of the you know, last couple games? Yeah, yeah, he responded to the games and he responded to some strong coaching the last couple of days too of how – He's got he's got more responsibilities. He got he's got to be able to do more and hang in there, and that was huge for him. That was a big I, and all those threes were nice. I loved his finish down the right lane. That was big off the ball screen. That that was another thing. He went in, so it was a uh, it, was, it was a team win. But our backcourt was really good tonight.